Decisions are frequently made to integrate systems through a message broker. There is a message broker, there exist systems. The system should send a message broker and other systems should retrieve messages from the message broker. When we propose creating a storage layer, that is a data warehouse, and middleware that will be responsible for message delivery, that is essentially working with the standard application programming interface of each service, obtaining information from there, placing necessary information there, and so on, we receive the response that it is redundant, that it is unnecessary and not required for the overall functionality of the systems. We're gonna do the integration through Kafka right now. However, let's take a look at what happens when you exchange messages through Kafka. To start with, each service is enriched with its own unique logic of wealth and abundance in Kafka's framework. Besides, it's getting all wrapped up in its own control logic, like what was delivered in Kafka. Because today the connection can be lost, tomorrow Kafka may stop working there, and something else. We gotta take these things into account, and imagine, if you will, that each of our services is written in a different language. Yeah, we got one C over here, maybe some Magento over there, perhaps a PinCore, or even SIP. And let's not forget about that completely unmodified BMS system. It's gonna to be tough to pull off, but we'll need to write a connector for it in Kafka using some new language. It has been discovered that we are in the process of relocating the middleware layer from its specialized location and specialized tools into each individual service, a significant shift in our approach. The situation with consumers is even more dire because in addition to the fact that we need to retrieve a message from a specific system, we also need to provide filtration, aggregation, and control over contract changes. Could you please explain what is meant by contract change control? Today we are working with a client who has 10 fields, but tomorrow their requirements will change and they will have either eight or seven fields. Is that correct? All right, for all you folks who are consuming this information, we got to change up all these systems and plan a backlog for all of them. And this leads to each system being overloaded with its own logic and burdened with storage and duplication of data that is not inherent to it, simply to ensure correct consumption. At times, we require, for instance, to filter data. If we perform filtering based on our own service, the service itself begins to operate slowly. However, in the event that a distinct middleware microservice eliminates this filtering, it effectively reduces the load on the end systems. And in the end, with the presence of a middleware layer and a control repository, our systems are not overloaded with unnecessary logic. There is no need to write anything exclusive in them, which means we can connect, change, and update the systems quite freely. But the load on these services decreases.